Hey, hey, welcome everybody. Thank you for joining. How is everybody doing tonight? Oh, we got a bunch of people in the house. So thank you for joining. All right. Hey, 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 Angie. Welcome, welcome. Thank you for coming in from Canada. Awesome. Kingdom Minded. Thank you, Karen. Thank you for joining. I see Desert Liz. I see... I see Love777. I never remember Scott. Scott. Scott's your name. We'll get it. We'll get it right. We'll see you guys a couple times. I'll be here. Uh, John Hansman. Thank you for joining. All right. Looks like we got a bunch of people in. Quick popping in and popping out. So tired and a day full of meetings tomorrow. All right. That's all right. Uh, God bless you and give you a well rest tonight and be able to uh, endure the long meetings tomorrow. Uh, so uh, have a very blessed night. All right, Navy Wife, thank you for joining. I know your name, too. Oh, man, I just cannot. Allison, that's right. Thanks for joining. All right, guys. Uh, I am. Well, Allison, there you go. And then uh, yep. we have a 1972 princess. Thank you for joining. Uh, Queen TJ, thank you for joining. Tinian, thank you for joining. Guys, thank you. Yep. Uh, oh, yep. Catch the replay. Yep. Love you, guys. Love you, too. Oh, no problem. Anytime. Hey, Tinian, there you are. Welcome, welcome. Uh, all right, guys, so I am Jason Wallace. I am a believer and follower of Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Some big stuff there. I'm a disciple, too. And uh, um, I'm a prayer warrior, an intercessor, a Bible reader, a devoted husband and father. I'm a child of God. I'm a new creation in Christ. I'm a saint. I'm God's workmanship created in Christ for good works. I'm a citizen of heaven. I am a proud member of the Jesus Did It family. And uh, guys, uh, definitely after this broadcast, go ahead on over to the Jesus Did It website and uh, take a look at the beautiful website that Rick Costa makes. And uh, on there, there is uh, some really cool stuff. So, uh, yep, the best place to hang out on Perry, guys, right here. <laughs> um, Jesus Did It. So uh, under the red arrow there, that's where you're going to want to download the affirmations. All of those, um, uh, all of those um, affirmations, all those things that we say that uh, that we say that we say in the beginning, like the all the I am. There's even more there too, and all they are are just the 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 they are the um, uh, the affirmations are the um, who the Bible says you who you are in Christ, and then it also tells you the Bible references. So it's really, really cool. Yep. And then there's some good broadcasters there. All the, all the official Jesus did it broadcasters. Uh, and then below them are the ones that we like to watch, the ones that we enjoy watching every day. You know, like Cynthia Bazin and Larissa and, and uh, Pam Smart and Laura Royer and Pastor Scott, a whole bunch of them. Um, and then, uh, and then on the very top is the scripture thought of the day. So, uh, you guys usually hear, uh, Rick, Rick do the scripture thought of the day. And uh, there he is. Lady Blunt, thank you for joining. All right, guys, let's get into this. Um, guys, I'm still going to listen. Whoa. I'm like literally less, um, just, a little, just a little over a week away before I got to go on this wonderful missions trip that you guys helped to make possible. Uh, everybody who joined here and prayed for me, prayed for the, the, the money to be able to be up and gave and man, you guys are the best. And I do uh, ask that you still keep me in prayer. Um, we all know that the, uh, well, maybe you don't know, but the week coming up to a uh, missions trip is stressful because I uh, trying to get everything lined up for your household here and get everything all, all straightened out. And, and then also, um, um, you know, and then when we go up on the mountain, right? When we're up on the mountain in the mission trip, that is, uh, that is a really high mountain. Like you get really, really, really filled with everything, and uh, with all the experience, you get filled with the spirit more. You, everything gets really, really good. Oh, uh, listen, thanks for joining. I do appreciate you. I've been on your broadcast a couple times, Denise, and uh, I do, uh, I do. Um, uh, yep. Yeah. Thank you for the invites, follows, and shares, and hearts. You guys are awesome. Uh, we just hit um, three. Uh, three million hearts and we're already cruising up to four we're getting uh, 3.2 million it's great but yeah so pray please pray for me please pray for me um, 
uh, for that time when we're at on the trip for guidance and for um, for protection, you know. And uh, what's up, Jesse? Thank you for joining, man. Um, and um, yeah. sorry about all the noises here. My computer's making noises the way Rick's makes noises all night long. But uh, um, but we uh, uh, where was I? Yes, and then please, 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 please pray for me uh, around the 1st of July and then um, on to uh, for a couple days after that, up to a week after that. Um, a lot of times, and it happened to me last time as well, when I, when I came back from the missions trip on the way, you, you have a very hard trip down the mountain um, sometimes, and uh, you do get uh, spiritually... Uh, attacked by uh, by the evil one, and he does come and get you, tries to at least, but uh, I, I don't let him do that, but definitely keep me in prayer for that as well. Um, guys, Jordan, thanks for joining. Um, Philip, thank you for joining. This guy, oh, that's awesome. But yeah, I'll trip, the trip is to Dominican Republic. Uh, we're going to uh, um, a village called Mondolio, and we'll be... Um, uh, we'll be going. That, that's kind of like our our, our 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 central point, and then we're going to be going to different villages, uh, and we're going to be helping out with the um, one of the uh, missionaries that that our church supports. Um, oh, thanks, man. Thanks, Jordan. Um, uh, definitely. Uh, yeah. When we we go there, we're going to be helping out with with the um, uh, one of the missionaries that we support. He. Um, he does a uh, firefighters um, Bible study missionary. He's that's what he does. So he'll go to the to the volunteer um, the volunteer firemen's um, uh, yeah the fire halls if you want to call it that. That little pink building over there with the tin roof that you see in the picture uh, that's a fire station by the way. If you wanted to ever know what it looks like in Dominican Republic. It's basically a bunch of sticks with some boards and, and things like that. So um, and it's just a place for them to pr protect the truck because uh, the truck is uh, very expensive. You know, they're you know up, upwards of uh, you know seven hundred fifty, eight hundred thousand dollars those those uh, those trucks. So um, they actually got one. This one there is donated. It was airlifted from up here in uh, uh, um, from Niagara Falls Air Force Base. Um, they airlifted this um, um, this fire truck down there. And donated it to them uh, through an organization called Brothers Without Borders. So um, they they actually go down there. Uh, firemen from Western New York um, go down on missions trips down to the Dominican Republic to train uh, the the firemen down there on how to put out fires, how to put on their gear, how to do all that stuff. And they'll take down they'll take them down stuff, the jackets, the all these things. And um, it's just a, a really good thing to uh, to help with, and because we love our missionary that we support, uh, his name is uh, Felix. Uh, he's just a great person, you know. Just uh, he's he's a he's definitely a success story of someone who has learned to know who God is um, and who Jesus is through missionary, right? Through 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 experiencing and going through. Um, uh, being exposed to 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 God through through a missionary, so um, uh, you know he was he actually worked himself out of being in in the uh, in the the sugarcane fields, um, cutting down sugarcane with machete, uh, to now being he's a translator for for the missionary company um, uh, Score International, and um, so he does he does translation, so he'll be a translator when, when we're there. Um, he, you know, and then he's also uh, uh, a missionary for his own country. So he works within his own country, like with with the firemen and and the police. Believe it or not, uh, the firemen and the police they uh, they all help out, and um, they all have Bible studies. So here's where I'm going to do for it. Ready? I'm going to, because here's what I heard. I heard that these firemen are sleeping on the ground, right? Sleeping on the ground. It's not good, or they'll sleep in the back of the truck, or they or they'll sleep in the in the in the um, in the ambulance if they have an ambulance in their station. But exactly, these are the guys that are saving people's lives, and they're laying on the floor, on the ground, 
So no, 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 we ain't going to have that. We're going there. We're going to build them bunk beds for every single one of the stations. We're going to build them bunk beds. And then we're also going to um, build them bookcases. And we're going to fill those bookcases with Bibles. Um, they've asked for more Bibles and more Bibles. They've asked for a lot of Bibles. So we're going to be taking down, I think it's 200 Bibles um, to uh, distribute to um, to the firemen. And then they're also going to keep some at the station house too as a... Uh, as like uh, you know, station Bibles. They don't leave there, but they're gonna distribute to uh, people in their in their um, in their community. You know, because it was kind of interesting. They were asking for more Bibles. We're like, wow, well, last time we came was two years ago. We gave like 200 Bibles last time too. And they're like, uh, yeah, we um, but they've gone through them. I said, wow, that's a lot of Bibles to go through. And they're like, well, you don't understand. When someone becomes saved, right, and they learn about Jesus and they start reading about all this stuff, they want to share that word with with uh, with other uh, other people in their family or even with other people that are going out uh, you know out um, you know it, that, that they're going out evangelizing with right their friends you know their buddies they grew up with they're like they're showing them the Bible look you got to read this this is amazing stuff this guy here you know he, he died on the cross for you for your sins all you gotta do is believe and you're saved exactly good stuff so guys um definitely uh that's what we're doing and i do thank you guys for all your prayers and all that stuff let's get into the reading for today the reading for today is uh deuteronomy chapter 30 34 i think it said 33 up there but that's wrong it's chapter 34 it's the last one the last one in uh deuteronomy and then we're gonna head on to joshua which is gonna be awesome um so here we go at the death of moses chapter 34 then Moses climbed Mount Nebo from the plains of Moab uh, to the top of uh, to the top of Pisgah, uh, across from Jericho. And I probably said that wrong, and I'm sorry. <laughs> there, there the Lord showed Himself the whole land, from Chiliad to Dan, all of Naphtali, the and the the, 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 the tongue tied, the territory of Ephraim and Manasseh, all of the land of Judah as far as the Mediterranean Sea. The Negev and the whole region of the valley of Jericho, and the city of Palms, as far as Zor. Then the Lord said to him, This is the land I promised an oath to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. When I said I will give it give it to your descendants, I will I will have it uh, I I have let you see it with your eyes, but you will not cross over into it. And Moses, the servant of the Lord, died there in Moab, as the Lord had said. He buried, he buried him in Moab, in the valley opposite Beth Peor. So, so God, God buried him. That's what I'm reading there. But, uh, but to this day, no one knows where his grave is. Interesting. Moses was 120 years old when he died. Yet his eyes were not weak, nor his strength gone. The Israelites grieved for Moses in the plains of Moab thirty days until the time of weeping and mourning was over. Now Joshua the son of Nun was filled with the spirit of wisdom, because Moses had laid, hands on, laid his hands on him. So the Israelites listened to him, and they did as the Lord had commanded Moses. Since then, no prophet has risen in Israel like Moses, whom the Lord knew face to face, who did all of those signs and wonders the Lord had sent him into Egypt to do to the Pharaoh and to all of his officials and, and his whole land. For no one has ever shown the mighty power or performed the awesome deeds that Moses did in the sight of all of Israel. That is uh, done. We are done with Deuteronomy. Uh, woo -hoo -hoo. I am uh, very, 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 uh, uh, I would say glad, but I'm glad we're moving along on our, um, on our Bible journey here. It's been a, it's, it's been a, um, a great journey. And I do thank you guys for joining me on this, uh, on this, um, because it's just been, uh, it's, it's been amazing for me to be able to read, um, 
Um, all right, I got you over here. <clears throat> Sorry. So yeah, we have uh, some people over on Busker watching along, and there was a prayer request that uh, in the beginning there was from Lisa. Um, she just asked that we uh, lift her up in prayer today, um, and that uh, it is an unspoken request. So Lord, we just we lift up Lisa today, and we ask that uh, that uh, if uh, whatever her whatever her intention is, Lord, we ask that as long as it's all in honoring to you, Lord, we uh, we ask that you uh, you see to it that uh, our friend Lisa's um, prayer gets uh, gets answered. Lord, we ask this in your mighty Son's name. Amen. All right, guys. So um, yeah. So here we are. Every night, every night we read the Our Daily Bread, and I will tell you something about this Our Daily Bread, and I'll tell you something about what goes on here has been going on for the last couple days um this these words are really lining up and they seem to do this quite a bit they seem to line up with with a lot of things that we talk about um so i just i find it <clears throat> i find it almost uh is a com uh, it's like confirming uh, a lot of things and a lot of things that we talk about. So, uh, for Thursday, June fifteenth, I'm wondering if. Uh, oh, there we go. I thought maybe my uh, periscope was uh, freezing up because um, that's what happens sometimes. <clears throat> Give me one second. I'm sorry, guys. The um, since my chat is disconnected over here. Hold on. Let's see if it's there. Oh, looks like it's back up. All right. Okay, cool. All right. So, guys, uh, thank you for uh, joining me on this. And here we go. Uh, for Thursday, June 15th, the title of this is uh, The Bond of Peace. And it's written by Amy Boucher. And she's. Got, I'm waiting for the email from her. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> sorry. The Bond of Peace. After I confronted my friend by email over a matter on which we had differed. She didn't respond. Had I overstepped? I didn't want to worsen the situation by pestering her. But neither did I want her want to leave things unresolved before she went on the trip overseas. As she popped into my mind throughout the following days, <coughs> I prayed for her, uh, unsure of the way, of the way forward. Then one morning I went for a walk in our local park, and I saw her, pain etched on her face as she glimpsed, glimpsed as she glimpsed me. Thank you, Lord, that I can talk to her. As I breathed, I approached her, with a welcoming smile. We talked openly and were able to resolve matters. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Uh, I knew that one was coming. It can't be a broadcast without a sneeze, right? <laughs> um, I'm, as, uh, as I breathed, I approached her, and with a welcoming smile, we, walk, we talked openly, and were able to resolve matters. Sometimes, when hurt or silence intrudes on our relationships, Mending them seems out of out of our control. But as the Apostle Paul says in his letter to the church at, at Ephesus, <clears throat> we are called to work for peace and unity through God's Spirit. And donning the garments of the gen of gentleness, humility, and patience as we seek God's healing in our relationships. The Lord yearns for us to be united and through his holy spirit or through his spirit he can bring his people together even unexpectedly when we are walking in the park amen that's what we need to do for sure we need to be able to bring each other together you know, we need to listen to that um that's kind of going on to what we i talked about last night and then um some other broadcasters <clears throat> Sorry about that. 
what some other broadcasters talked about today um, when we were um, listening that um, that's a division in our in our Christian walk is um, is a very um, hard thing to watch happen and we need to just caution ourselves with that division but it says right here God is willing to work through that to help us work through it to um, to uh, to be able to focus in on on what we need to do is to be together and to uh, to heal those relationships so definitely something to uh, think about so the, the prayer here, or maybe it says, no, these are just questions. Have you experienced an unexpected encounter that revealed God working in a situation? I have. How might you work towards peace and unity today? Hmm, that's a tough question. You have to think about it. I don't know, I think my, are we like stuck, broken? I'm not even sure. All right, so um, the footnote says, God deserves unity among believers. And um, today's reading was from Ephesians chapter 4, verses 1 through 6. Make every effort to keep unity of the Spirit through the bond of peace. It is the key verse, and it's from, uh, Ephesians chapter 4, verse 3. So guys, thank you for, uh, for listening to this part of it. We've uh, completed that. And um, guys, I thank you for... Uh, Oh, yep, there she is. All right, guys. So, <clears throat> thanks for uh, thanks for being here. Thanks for joining me on this journey from from Genesis to Revelation, one chapter at a time. It's definitely uh, uh, it's definitely a fun thing to do, right? To um, to um, to uh, walk through walk through all this and be able to uh, talk and. <clears throat> learn learn a lot more word you know learn about things that um that you know that that are in the bible that are that really a lot of it lines up with what goes on today and it's very interesting to see um to see that uh some text that's like you know a couple thousand years old is actually lines right up with what's going on today and then um and then you know some of the prophecy that you see of what's going on you know in our world today, right now, you know, some of the things that are going on that are not uh, not so great, you know, that's it's there, but uh, that's all right. That's why we gotta we gotta help get more people to know Jesus Christ. We gotta help bring more souls to the uh, to to know that to to bring them to the kingdom because. Uh, um, we never know when the last hour, or the last minute, or the last second is that we're going to be here. And um, I want to be able to say that, uh, that uh, I want to be able not to say, but I want to be able to hear when that time comes, you know, well done, my, you know, my, my good and faithful servant. You know, that, that's, uh, that's what I want to do. So um, when I'm called to do something, I do it. You know, if, uh, you know, as long as it doesn't divide things, right? As long as there's no division in it, it will help. Uh, it will help bring people to know know the Lord Jesus. That's where, uh, that's where I'm at. And uh, you know, we. Uh, um, I'm just checking on Busker over there, make sure everybody's all all good. So no comments on Busker. No comments on um, on YouTube. Uh, so yeah, I I do a triple broadcast here. We uh, we stream the same exact thing to uh, Busker, to Periscope, and to um, YouTube every night, and I mostly do YouTube, so that way I can make sure that I get a copy of it, because um, uh, Periscope uh, definitely deletes after the 100, right? So after 100 broadcasts, the last ones get mixed off, and then um, Busker, I don't know yet. It's still kind of new to me, but um, you know, we, uh, we, we feel that we want to be able to bring uh, as much Jesus to all different areas of social media and live streaming as much as we can possibly can. And, um, you know, whether we get one person to watch, it, it's still one more person that we, uh, that we know that's hearing the, hearing the gospel. So that's uh, definitely something that, um, that, uh, that I am. Uh, Mr. Montague, I think that is 
Nick, right? Yep. Thank you for joining. Thank you for uh, inviting. You know, there's there's uh, there's other other platforms as well that um, that we're looking looking at um, maybe starting to do a little bit of uh, broadcasting into. You know, there's some there's some places that are like the wild wild west right now. There's like Live Star and and Live Me. You know, all those areas are like uh, there's there's lots of uh, lots of not so goodness going on there is a good way of putting it I guess and um, if we can just bring a little bit a little bit of diversion from all that nonsense and be pointing it towards uh, towards Jesus um, I think I think that'll help I think that'll help um, but those guys don't have the ability to be able to stream like like we do so you know, I use a software that pushes the stream up and we um, we're able to um, split that stream and go to three different places and that's good so I would have to get another couple more devices to be able to do these other other broadcasts but you know what uh, who knows maybe that will uh, will come into my favor sometime soon um, but uh, until that time we just wait and we be patient we listen to what God says uh, and we want he wants us to do so uh, um, I think we're doing a good thing here. Uh, the Jesus Did It group is doing a great thing. Um, Craig, if I didn't say hi to you, I'm sorry. Hello, Craig. <laughs> Thank you for joining. Uh, Lynn, uh, what is that? Lee Kane, no poof, no non path. Thank you for joining. Uh, let's see if I can get a name over here. Sorry, guys. I do click on the link and I do check to see what your name is. So that way, if I if you don't respond, at least I can know what your name is. And uh, it's uh, Smicy, interesting, interesting name. But uh, thanks for uh, thanks for joining, guys. Thanks for uh, invites and follows and shares. Um, it's definitely uh, a great to see a, a bunch of new faces come here today. And um, finally, a super fan of mine. You're number nine. Get out of town. That is spectacular. I'd like to take a look and see now, because if the super fans updated, that's going to be really, really cool. So, super fans, we have. Woohoo! Look at that. Good night, good night, good night, Kingdom Minded. Thank you for joining. Um, we'll be praying for you. Yes, please, definitely, definitely do that. And um, if you guys need prayer, definitely um, send me an email if you'd like. I'll pray for you. Um, or put it in the chat stream right now. Uh, put it in the chat stream, and we'll pray for you as well. But, uh, all right, so we've got number 10. Ready, guys? Number 10. Number 10 is Tinian. Number 9, Craig Myers in the house. Woo -woo. <laughs> uh, number 8, Lisa Hatterley. Number 7, Sherry Hammond. Number 6, Elaine Davis. Number 5, Sue Palmer. <laughs> got three new people. You're a super fan now as of the last two days. See what else, what happens when you're faithful and coming to and listening on the broadcast, pumping those hearts, chatting in a chat stream. Um, what else do you got to do? You got to do some screenshots. You got to do invites and follows and shares. You know, you do all that stuff, and it will be um, Elo, e, uh, Eli. Thank you for joining. Uh, Poppy, thank you for joining. Adam, thank you for joining. We're getting lots of people pop in here, and that's all good. I'm all right with that. So, all right, our number four, 1972 Princess, because I can't ever say your name right. I'm so sorry that I can't get it right. It's in, it's A-I-N-E-S-Y. I know you said it the other day. Oh, you watched the replay. Yeah, I watched the replay, too. That definitely helps. We saw that uh, that one guy uh, made his way all the way up to number one super fan just by watching the watching the broadcast the next day. It's amazing. Uh, number three is real Wendy. Uh, number two, uh, Liz Desert Liz. Number one is. Do we have to guess who it is? I don't know who number one super fan is. Come on, you can take a guess. Nobody? Nobody wants to take a stab at it? Alright, number one super fan is Rick Costa. Um, and I know that the people over on Busker and the people over on um, 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 YouTube are probably like, oh, what is all that about? 
listen, there's just something that, that, that we do. We celebrate hearts. We celebrate um, super fans over here on um, Periscope. I, I still have yet to find a, a very good metric other than um, the, the contributions, right? So the number of contributions. Uh, so that's basically the number of hearts or, or stuff that you do. And uh, had to watch Becky Scopes for two days straight to become her number one super fan. There you go. Yep, and that's all, all it takes sometimes is just to watch, to watch the broadcast. And you know what? It's not a bad thing to do either because if you watch a bunch of us, you're probably going to pick up on some, some positive things, right? Some things that are probably better your, better your, better your life anyway. So at least I hope. All right, I hope that's what we're doing here. I hope that's what I'm doing here at least. I'm hoping and helping to speak life into you guys um, and uh, help share the word of God. And uh, be able to uh, just to have a good time, uh, and I hope that's uh, I hope that's what I'm doing. Um, I haven't seen I haven't heard any complaints about things. So, um, you know, the only thing we ask is that when you join the broadcast here with us, and you know, follow follow me. Come on back every night. We do a very good reading. We do you know we do readings. We do our, our devotional. You know, um, we we do our, our prayer and our fellowship. And um, you know, the only thing we ask is that um, is that you, you know you, you keep your comments clean, and uh, and we don't get confrontational. It's really really what we're interested in. You know, we're, we're our focus is on Jesus and uh, what He did for us, and then also what we can do for Him. Right? That's pretty much what it is—the relationship. So, um, and that's our focus. And if you need help with that, if you need help understanding who Jesus is. If you need help understanding how, how do you become a follower of Jesus? How do you do that? Reach out. Put it in the chat stream. Send me an email. Um, you know, we'll uh, we'll get back to you. you know, if I gotta do a Skype call with you, I'll just Skype call with you. We'll pray for it. Pray for you. You know, we'll we'll uh, we'll definitely um, um, help you if you have interest and you want to become uh, a follower of Jesus Christ. And uh, you don't quite know which way to go and, and stuff like that, uh, reach out to us. That's what we're here for. Go to the Jesus Did It group. There's Marcy right there. Marcy is a good one too. She will help you, uh, you know, answer your questions, whatever you need. Rick Costa, you know, follow Rick Costa. Follow all the people who are on the on the Jesus Did It uh, dot org website because um, uh, we're we're here. We have all gotten together. And band, you know, and gotten together as a as a uh, as a as a ministry for you guys to be able to help you, um, to be able to know who Jesus is and who um, a ministry student prayers out for finances would be awesome. All right, we'll pray for that. Pray for you. Is it for you, your student right now, and uh, for financial? You need you want some prayers for financial support, right? That's uh, always a good thing to do. So it's Eli, uh, e, is it Eli, let me make sure I get your name right, otherwise, my computers are running a little slow tonight, but that's all right, we can wait on that, wait on the, so it's Eli, right, Eli, Eli, G-I-O, right. is it Eli, just call you Junior, all right, call you Junior, so for Junior, uh, you seven ninety seven twenty four, welcome and thank you for coming on to my broadcast on your first day of Periscope. Uh, definitely for missions trips. Oh yeah, that's what uh, that's where I'm going. I'm going on a missions trip on the twenty fourth. I'm going to Dominican Republic uh, with uh, with Score International Ministries to um, to uh, help out with a uh, firefighter ministry. Uh, evangelism and um, and uh, some other stuff that we do um, probably help out build do something with churches paint something you know whatever just got back from Thailand that is awesome yep um, yep that's what we're doing good morning good early morning rising so must leave Marcy God bless you get some rest tonight get some sleep all right, I want to rock out a little bit of prayers here. So here's let's get started. Lord Heavenly Father, we uh, thank you for uh, all of our all of our people that come out to the broadcast here, and uh, Lord that uh, listen to your word and um, and know that you are you are the Lord and Savior. 
Lord, we, uh, we ask for our friends, uh, Marcy, today, for her to be able to get some well-needed rest. Let her uh, get re refreshed when, and a full night's sleep. Lord, let, uh, let, uh, let the babies not wake up. And, uh, and Lord, let them sleep all night and let her sleep all night. Be able to wake up tomorrow morning, all of them refreshed, ready for a brand new day. Lord, we thank you. Thank you for this time. Uh, Lord, and uh, we also we also pray for Eli, Lord, for him to be able to uh, to raise funds for uh, for his ministry uh, ministry you know, for being a ministry student for uh, Lord for um, for his missions trips. Lord, let him be able to uh, to be uh, um, funded completely for whatever trips it is that he needs to go to. Lord, let let. Uh, let let others that are in ministry or others that are that are followers of, of you, Lord, let them let them um, let them be generous. Let them understand that that um, that they are not only helping out he a junior to get uh, to get over to whatever the place it is that he needs to go to to be uh, to spread the word of God, but also that they will be joining him as well as long as they help out. Uh, get him there. Every dollar that goes towards towards a, a missionary is 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 you you know you're going to be able to experience that uh, through helping helping out someone who does missionary work and and they're going to bring back all the stories of all the goodness that happened through your support of them. So Lord, we just ask that you uh, you uh, provide for him and be able to uh, to help have other people help. Uh, Help get him to his his goals, so he can go on the missions and be able to uh, to spread the word of you, Lord, um, and um, to let everybody know who the Son of Man, who the Son of Man is, and who uh, who is going to be, who is the Savior of their of their of of <laughs> who's their Savior, who is the one that has taken away all of our sins, the one who has conquered death is now seated at, seated at the right hand of the Father, that we one day we'll be able to see him again. We'll be able to be there in communion with with God. Uh, Lord, let the, let the provision come over him. Lord, let, let, let people be able to provide for him and help him get to, on his journey. Amen. Amen, amen. Um, we're going to pray for Tia Jones as well. Um, Guys, Tia Jones is um, TJ. I know she's not on here right now. No problem, man. No problem. Anytime. That's what we're here for. Follow us. Come back every night. We um, we pray for pray for people and and uh, we we push our prayers, right? We push them. We pray until something happens, and that's what we do with our prayers. We push our prayers because we want to make sure that uh, that God hears our requests. Thanks for following. Um, so God hears our requests. He hears um, our wants and our needs. You know, He He hears our prayers for others, and we uh, and He hears our praise to Him and to Jesus for for what for what He's done for us. Um, he wants to hear it. He wants us to hear us pray uh, with joy. And we're gonna pray for Jesus. We're gonna pray for others. We're gonna pray for our, for yourself. Um, and uh, that's what we do. That's what we do here every night. Um, and then we, sometimes we have some teachings. Sometimes we have our Muslim friends come on uh, who uh, question uh, lots of questions, and we we help them out with little video shots that we have set up. Uh, we'll be able to help them. Uh, we are uh, we're here to help uh, show people who Jesus Christ is and um, who He really is, not who some people might think he is but who he really is he's your lord and savior he's the one that took away all of your sins he is <sighs> is jesus god or the son of god <laughs> i know right rick i know <laughs> that's that's one of the questions i gotta make a new i gotta make a, a slide for that one that one's uh that one's interesting yeah we uh yeah uh, we have some good ones that go. I have captured some good videos. Um, really busy tonight. Um, I'm wondering if uh, wonder what's going on with that. 
But uh, I'm really busy tonight because normally I don't have 147 viewers by now. Usually it's only a little bit under 100, which is awesome. Um, not that it matters. Not that the numbers matter to me. You know what? Uh, VIP status doesn't matter to me. Um, you know, 3.2 million hearts doesn't matter. It doesn't matter to me. You know, it's not for me. It's not, I shouldn't say it doesn't matter to me because it does matter. All this stuff. You had more on Busker than you usually too. That is awesome. I've actually had a few on Busker today as well, um, which is a little bit more than normal. So it's good to see that the kids that are coming out of, uh, yep, it's all about lifting his, his name. Absolutely. And that's what we do here. We do this every night. There's, um, and all day long, there's, there's people who broadcast from our group, the Jesus Dedic group, um, that broadcast all day long, you know, um, throughout, throughout the day. So, um, and they're different views. There, there's different messages and different, different, uh, viewpoints, um, and um, those messages um, really, you know, help out. And you may you may find that there's uh, someone that you you line up a little bit more with, right? Or there's someone that you like listen to all of us, you know. So check out the broadcasters at JesusDidIt.org. Um, you will uh, you will not be dissatisfied at all. These um, prayers for your brother. He's graduating basic tomorrow. Awesome. So is he going to be getting, um, uh, where did, does he know where he's getting deployed to, Rob? Does he have his, does he have his deployment papers yet, or is he, uh, San Antonio? Oh, so he's, he's going to be, oh, that's perfect. Awesome. All right, Lord Heavenly Father, we lift up, uh, Rob's, uh, brother tomorrow, Lord. Uh, let him be, uh, comforted with, uh, and just ease with the graduation of his basic training tomorrow, Lord. Let uh, let the uh, let him be able to um, to take on the next journey, which is going to San Antonio, and um, helping to uh, helping to learn more about how to protect the people of this great nation. Lord, we uh, we thank you for uh, giving strength and power to those people. I shouldn't say power, strength and and direction for those people who want to help uh, protect our country, Lord, and to protect our people that are in our country. Lord, we we thank you for all the people who are in the military. We um we just we we thank you for those people who protect us, Lord, and we ask that you put protection over those people who protect us. And uh, in your mighty Son's name, we pray. Amen. Cameron, thank you for joining back again. All right, guys. No problem, man. That's what we we you know uh, when we can't when we can't we usually pray for people pray for the military absolutely we pray for our government um, we pray for our president you know we pray for all these people because the Bible says that we really should right we should help pray for the people who who are in charge right who are in charge and um, we gotta pray for those people and you know and why not pray for the military. Heck, man, they're they're the people who are, are are saving our butts. They're protecting our borders. You know, they're they're sitting there in a, in a boat. You know, protecting the the border. They're they're uh, they're there over in a different country, uh, having to deal with. Uh, you know, that's right. Pam always reminds us to pray for the military. Yeah, because she has daughters. She has a daughter and a son that are that are there, uh, that are that are written there. So I'll also be part of a movement called Compassion to Action, impacting the universities of America. You know what? That's what we need. We need to, uh, we need to, um, there needs to be some infiltration in, in, into, uh, uh, into the universities because there's been uh, such a, a flattening of, of any faith or anything um, in the universities. And you can, you can tell the people that are, that are, that are being churned out of the universities that they're um they're they're uh, they're either godless or they're uh, they're just they've they've uh, you know, like they've never known about God they never understood about Jesus all they know is uh, about uh, about the world and what goes on around it you know and uh, they're they're self centered and and not uh, not focusing in on on you know the rest of humanity and um, you know, 
and it's not all, it's not all, you know, I don't want to coin it as being everybody that comes out of a university, because that's not the truth. There's uh, plenty of people who know the Lord Jesus Christ and know that, um, that uh, um, the direction that they're going with stuff. And yeah, there's 14 universities, so many sound got saved and healed and delivered, sort of bringing more. That is awesome. That is awesome. And that's what we need. We need more of that too. We need to be able to reach into uh, into um, the young uh, the young adults, right? The, these are going to be the people that are going to be making decisions for us pretty soon. And um, and we just ask that they um, um, you know, we just ask that they that they work uh, they work through this stuff uh, um, wisely. You know, um, it's uh, some sometimes it's uh, I know people say oh the young people you know they it scares me what what's going to go on you know I've probably been saying that for years right you know every generation has the same thing right you know we uh we're we're afraid for the for what's going to happen but um there's some, been some serious brokenness in in um uh in our um in our society lately which is really um causing lots of pain in areas, you know, in different areas. You know, my daughter today goes, how come we don't talk to each other the way we did on, you know, like the, in the 1950s? And I'm like, you know what, that's a really good question. Why don't we talk to each other oh, well? Why don't we greet each other uh, with politeness and, and without, uh, you know, without being just, you know, and I'm like, you know what? Why don't you be the movement for that? Why don't you start that? Why don't you start being gracious and grateful to people, you know, and and showing them what uh, what what the love of Jesus looks like, you know, you know, and you know, I get the little snicker from my you know the nine year old, and I'll cut it out, Dad. But you know what? She she really she really uh, opened up my ears a little bit to 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 want to think about that and how how it's right. We don't talk to each other right. We don't treat each other well. Um, we, we, we've gone from from a community scenario to a, a self scenario, right, where it's just about me. It's just about me. It's all I care about is about me. What happens to me rather than others, right? And I'm at fault to it, too, at a lot of times, right? Be, you get so... Uh, you get so wrapped up in the rat race that is that is uh, the world you uh, you tend to get you get to you tend to get pulled into it and it, it does um, does uh, create some confusion in your in your brain as to what is what is real and what is not you know when and, and that's the thing is like people think that now you know that the world thinks that that they're that it's centered around their feelings and around them and not around God. And, uh, yeah, and that's too, right? Definitely. Um, we need to change some things in our lives um, in the way that we show and share God, um, but not, not change it to where it's adapting to what the world thinks it should be, right? We, we want to, um, we want to make sure that the, that the, that we we had, we how can I say this? We want to make sure that we get the message out, but not condemning, and not judgmental, and not uh, you know not uh, being pushy, you know, or just throwing Bible verses at things, um, because as soon as you start doing that stuff, you turn people off, especially the the younger generation. Now oh, they're they they have so much stuff coming at them. You know, so much chatter and, and, you know, commercials and all this stuff is just in their brain, right? And it's not, there's just too much information. You know, they're being overloaded and, and, and uh, your brain can only handle so much of that. So, um, so then you got some guy up there preaching, you know, uh, you know, old school preacher yelling, you know, barking at him, you know, brimstone and fire and, uh, and uh, you you lost them at at, at the first uh, at the first first sentence, you know they they disconnect and be like well they put their filter on because that's what they need to do to be able to get themselves through life right now, you know, 
you know, that's why a lot of kids get sucked into their phones, and that's they 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 it uh, it becomes something for them to focus away from the world and focus in on them. So uh, we need we need to work through this. Yeah, we got to represent love. We got to figure a way of showing how um, how even different religions, right? Different different people of different faiths um, work things out, right? You encounter with God. And you didn't need a sermon. All you need is experience his presence. Absolutely. There's been many times where you sit there and it's just through through a song even, right? Uh, something you read something and you're like, and it just hits you. You get the, that that chill through your body. You know, that 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 feeling. I don't even know how to describe it. It's not like a chill. It's kind of you know, you can tell when you're getting filled with spirit. You know, I don't I don't know how to describe it. It's just the you know, uh, I don't know how to describe it, but I've had, I felt that experience and that, you know, that the, you're in the presence at that point, because, um, this is something you've never felt before. Right. And, and so, uh, if that's, if that's even a glimpse of what, uh, yeah, that's right. That's right. It's tangible in the presence. Yeah. And, um, if that's even a glimpse of what the feeling it is uh, to be in heaven, um, I'm signing me up. I'm there because um, it's such a great feeling to be able to to do stuff like that, right? Like when I buy the person behind me their coffee, um, you know, or their lunch, or their or, or their or their breakfast, or whatever. You know, the the feeling you get at that point is just a, uh, it's it's just a, you know. A flood of of uh, of goodness feeling, right? You know, and um, it's it, and you know that 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 is that's God, that's His presence. So, how do, how do we get that presence to be um, to be shown for other people to be able to to uh, I don't know to for the other people to be able to experience that, you know, and um, that's part of the reason, excuse me, that's part of the reason why, yep, I know that, I have plenty of things, that's good stuff, <laughs> thank you, Rick, um, Mars and Teddy USA, thank you for joining, um, welcome aboard, um, so we're at, you know, have you prayed for people, uh, by God healing their sickness and, and pain, giving them their life to Jesus, absolutely, you know, and, and that's it, you know, we, um, <clears throat> we, and that's why we, we come on here every night because especially on like Periscope, there's such a, a huge dynamic of people. Um, <clears throat> and there's lots of people who, who would never even have heard, um, the word of God or even stopped by, right? There's a lot of people that, uh, how do you feel about Facebook supporting pandas on Viagra? I don't know how I feel about that, because it really doesn't concern me. Um, Facebook can do whatever they want. They're a, they're a publicly owned company, and I'm pretty sure the people that help support them and their, and their efforts um, uh, will have to say whatever they say about it. <laughs> but thanks for asking. <laughs> um, it's time to bring heaven on earth, absolutely. And how do we do that, right? How do we help other people know um, who Jesus is? Oh man, he left. I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, how do we help people know who Jesus is the right way, right? What is the right way? How do we reach into people's lives, you know, and um, shake them up a little bit? We, um, you know, and that's why we're here. That, that's part of the reason why I'm here every night is because of this. Um, God really helped me. He stirred up me up and he changed my life. He changed me from being a bitter, angry person and, into someone who is still working towards, you know, not having that bitterness and anger. But he's, he's worked over my heart, softened me up a little bit and um, I'm changing, you know, we all changing. We're all changing for the better. I would hope. Um, if you're a follower of Christ, you, you're gonna your your attempt is every day to uh, to be just like Jesus. And um, even though we will never be able to get that right, um, 
No, we never stop learning, we never stop learning. Absolutely. We have to keep learning, we have to keep trying, we have to keep striving and pushing forward. Um, but in the meantime, we have to be able to find a way to reach uh, those who are lost, right? So like I was saying, a lot of people on Periscope and Busker and, and even on YouTube, you know, they may be getting experiences and seeing other people of faith, but they're not uh, experiencing in a way that uh, is, um, is, I don't know, is hashing with, with them, right? So, you know, I, I don't know. And, and that's part of the thing, right? It's trying, how, how do we adapt that? How do we bring in that stuff in? And we, and we, we talk about it and we, we engage people to be able to, uh, to listen to at least a little bit of what the gospel looks like. <coughs> um, so that's why I broadcast every night. I guess he did a good job on me. He helped change me. Um, he helped, um, he helped bring me out of a situation where I was bitter and had church hurt and uh, spun me around 360 degrees or sorry 180 degrees right <laughs> Say 360. spun me around 180 degrees and sort of point me in, in the right direction to the point of where now I'm I'm helping out at church right I'm I'm helping do stuff I'm in ministries with with uh with uh, with my church, I am, uh, you know, running the soundboard, you know, and, and the video streaming stuff. I am, um, uh, you know, going on missions trips. You know, all these things. I'll tell you what. Six years ago, so whatever it is, um, I never thought I would be doing what I'm doing today. I never thought that I would be on social media. Number one, be on social media at all. Uh, and, but let alone talking about uh, my faith in Jesus Christ and what uh, and what that looks like and reading the Bible. And, you know what? I never thought of I would ever be doing that. But uh, God opened my eyes. He opened my and the Holy Spirit. You know, came in and really did a number on me and allowed me to be able to start understanding what those words in that Bible mean. And um, and like I was saying before in, in a previous broadcast, you know, when I, the day that I read uh, John and when you read about when Jesus was, um, you know, and through John and Acts and all the stuff, and you read about Jesus dying and how he died, and then you watch uh, certain movies, just like, I was crying, man, I was crying crying like grown man sitting there crying going this guy and you don't get it right you don't really get it until you read it until you really get it right and uh, Elaine Davis thank you for joining me um, but yeah uh, you know we I didn't get it I didn't, I didn't get it until until we start reading the word and the word started started getting in and uh, I started going wow I'm understanding this. I'm I'm seeing now what I've been missing, you know, and 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 I was focused in on the church being a building rather than church being the group of people. And the only way, you know, you read it, and you're like the only way that you're gonna get to the Father is through Jesus Christ. That means you gotta have faith in Him. You gotta have faith that He was the one who came here, endured all that pain, you know, got beat and whipped and and, and and put upon a cross and as we found out tonight, right? He's put upon a cross and in the in the greatest of embarrassments, right? He was put on a cross naked, right? You know, and then and then left to hung and to die. Huh. You know, and, and fulfilling all that prophecy that was written in the old testament and being pierced in the side and and be a you know, a, a Messiah that comes from the line of Judah. You know that all that stuff is is prophecy is lined up, and it's it's him. He healed you from leukemia for you know, seven years of drugs and alcohol and divorce. Yeah, Jesus is only the freedom. You got that right, absolutely. 
you know, when you're when, when I was a bitter person, um, uh, the, the things that, that hurt the most were I didn't care. You know what I mean? Like, I didn't care that I hurt somebody, that I verbally tore somebody apart. It didn't matter to me. All I cared about was myself and what I did. And I didn't care about what anybody else did and what they where they were at and what they were doing. So, you know, when, when you have, when, and now when I sit here and think about it and I have, um, you know, thought about it, about people that have left the place that I work because of me, because of how I treated them, it just, um, blows my mind that, uh, that I was ever that person. And so, um, you know, think about it. How how do you get? How do you get? You know, how how can we do this? How can we get uh, to be able to reach more people? Right. Um, thanks, man. You know, um, it's, you're not the first person who said that either. You're not, uh, you know, Jesus is here, man. He's in, he's 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 here in our our presence, right? We um. We, that's one of the favorite verses too, right there, in the eyes of your life. Yeah. And we, yes. Um, and so, you know, we, we, we got to work really hard at showing non-believers what real church looks like and not be concerned with, with, uh, divisions of, of, of things or denominations, right? We should be removing those wedges, right? If you're a follower of Christ, no matter what church you set foot into we should all have the same story that same story is the gospel of Jesus Christ right and that, that's what it is it's his story and uh, we sh our focus should be always on him and not on silly things like doctrine or you know or you know whatever it may be whatever whatever may happen at, at someone's church you know we um, focus on um, on that stuff on the good things, the positive things, um, because there's always going to be, you know, differences between church. But you know what? If if all the churches would just would just go by the very simple rule of you, you you want to point people to Jesus, and you want to bring Jesus to people. That's it. And that is my church's um, uh, our our mission statement. It's it's. It's printed on a wall in our church, and that and that's what, that's what, uh, that's what it is. K Papa, thank you for doing. Kim, thanks for joining. Um, you know, we uh, that that's what we strive to work through. You know, because uh, the last thing we want to do is get wrapped up into, well, you know, you know, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta speak in tongues, or you gotta pray this way, or you gotta do this, or or you gotta do that, or you can't pray to a to a stone statue it's all not good so we have to we have to straight be straight in understanding that um, that uh, our focus should be on Jesus that's what our focus should be we should be leading people to know who he is and uh, that's what I'm gonna do that's what I've been doing and we're gonna continue to focus in on Jesus and uh, that is what my uh, my intentions are. We've got lots of people coming in today on all different places. Um, guys, if you have any prayer requests or praise requests, please pray for your son. He's driving all night from Dallas, Michigan. Pray for safety. Uh, Kim, what's his name? I probably should know this, but uh, I've I've seen you seen you in enough broadcasts, but maybe I don't. You know, what's his name, Kim? Matthew. All right, Lord Heavenly Father, we uh, we lift up Matthew today, Lord. We understand that he is driving uh, home from uh, or driving all night from Dallas to Michigan. Lord, we just ask that you um, that you uh, number one uh, keep his keep him keep his eyes open and and focused on the road and all the things around him. Lord, let uh, let the let the car be uh, mechanically sound. Uh, there be no issues, or let him let him remember to fill up the tank uh, every so often to make sure that he has enough gas to get to the destination. Learn, uh, 
and we just ask that you uh, you protect the tires, that there's no issues with tires on, on the ride or any other mechanical issues that may happen. Lord, we just uh, we ask for a hedge of protection around him and to keep him a wide awake while he's driving, Lord. Uh, and uh, we just ask this in your mighty son's name. Amen. All right. Guys, any more prayer requests or praise reports? Otherwise, this guy is tired and he needs to go get some sleep. <laughs> no problem. Anytime. Uh, join in. We'll pray for uh, pray for you. Pray for anybody. God wants to hear our prayers. He wants to hear other people pray. Lannis, thank you for joining. How are you? Thank you for joining. Uh, Gabriel, thank you for joining. Is there any prayer requests or praise reports or uh, just questions or comments? Whatever it is. Hey, hey, hey. Guys, okay, thanks for joining. It's a late night a little bit, getting tired, so I'm glad uh, I'm glad we got our we got done with Deuteronomy now. Now we're gonna be moving into the next book. That's gonna be awesome. Can't wait. Cooking along, we'll be through this Bible in no time, huh? One chapter at a time. It's probably gonna take some time, but that's all right. I got time. That's one thing I do have. If not, I make time. Ken, thanks for joining. Uh, move, man. I'm wondering what's going on here. Rick, can you see that? 216 viewers. Wow, I'm blown away right now. That's a lot of viewers. Guys, thanks for all your invites, follows, and shares, and hearts. Um, just, uh, just keep notice that uh, those are uh, not for me. Those are for Jesus. All them things are there for Jesus to honor Him, to honor our Lord and Savior. And um, so every single heart and, and uh, invite and share are all for Him. Um, it's not for me. I don't want to have any glory. Uh, it's not. Not that at all. I want, all I want to do is come here and spread the word of, uh, of Jesus Christ who died on the cross for you. And uh, I want to share that, share that out. All right, guys, if there is no more prayer requests or praise reports or anything like that, we're going to start shutting it down. I'm just going to do a nice general prayer, and we're going to walk on out. And um, we'll, uh, we'll call it a night, I think. All right. Yep, we give all the glory to God. Yeah. Why not? <laughs> Why not? He deserves it. He created me. He protects me every day. He uh he helps me. He helps give me the the uh, the ability to be able to work and to be able to uh, make money and to be able to uh, have all the wonderful things that I have. Um, all because He loves us. You know, so why would I not want to show that love back as much as I humanly possibly can, right? Um, you know, um, he doesn't need things. He just needs us. He needs our love. So uh, we're, we're going to give it to him as much as possible. As I'm going to, right? You know, um, and, uh, you know, I'm not going to tell you what to do. I'm not going to even be a, a judging of you, a judging you or not. You do what you, what you feel is fit. Um, but God does love you, and He uh, He wants to see you see you. Uh, he wants to see you prosper. It's written right in the Bible. He wants to see you do good. He wants you to see you improve yourself, and use your abilities that He's given you to be able to uh, to uh, to help um, uh, prosper you. And um, you know, I'm not like saying you know, oh, He's going to make you a million dollars. No, 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 we're not going to do all that. You know, we're not going to get into, uh, you know, into that type of thing. But, um, but I, it's very, very evident that when you, um, yes, Jesse, thank you for joining. Did I miss a question? I did not. Oh, hey, prayers. <laughs> I did. Busker sometimes is a little weird for me. Like, it gets a little, uh, I can't see the, the thing popping so soon. But what I'm going to be doing is um, I'm going to be looking into it. I've reached out to the guys from Egg Drop because I use Egg Drop over on Periscope. 
And what they said, Rick, ready for this one? Listen, listen. <laughs> um, if you're running two streams at the same time, and you use egg drop for both um, uh, Periscope and for Busker at the same time, it will mix all those comments together into the one stream. So you'll be able to um, uh, be able to uh, have both uh, those comments inside this inside of your uh, your chat stream. So that's really cool. Only deal is you got to have the uh, the premium version. So you're looking at ten bucks a month. So I'm gonna try to. Yeah, it is cool. Um, and so I'm trying to figure out how I can um, uh, budget that that amount of money every month because it's you know ten. Yep. So egg drop uh, is um, is uh, like uh, on Periscope. See, I broadcast. Sorry, <laughs> sorry. Uh, is it is it Jesse? Right? Yeah. We. Um, I broadcast on Periscope, um, YouTube, and Busker all at the same time. So I have the same broadcast going to three different uh, social media sites. And um, what Egg Drop does is, because on Periscope, I don't know if you've ever had the Periscope app, um, the comments disappear. So sometimes when you get a really busy chat room, it's hard to keep track, hard to read all those comments. So what Egg Drop does is it captures all those comments and puts them into a separate web page so you can watch it. Uh, so you can watch the, the all of the comments. So it would be really cool if I get the premium version where it will mix the comments in from both of them and I won't miss I won't miss someone putting up a lovely uh, uh, prayer sign and a high, you know. Um, so definitely there. Eli, thank you for joining back again. Um, over on bus or over on uh, Periscope, so that's what we're doing. What about YouTube? Uh, YouTube, they're going to be. Uh, he's. I got an email back from them, uh, from the them egg drop people. Eg dot com. Um, they said that they were going to be working on. Oh, that's fine. Um, um, they're going to be working on that, so that'll be really cool because then uh, they'll be working on adding on YouTube as well. So uh, YouTube, YouTube Live will be able to do that soon, I guess. I don't know exactly when they're going to do it, but it'll be really cool uh, to be able to do that. So then, then what I'll do is maybe in the bottom edge of the, of the, or somewhere on the screen space, I'll add in the comment, the stream. So you'll be able to see from all the different social media, you'll be able to see all those different streams. Um, coming in, so we'll see what that what, what that looks like. I'm praying about it. We'll see what uh, how we can swing uh, nine dollars. Yeah, yeah. Egg drop is like the bomb. <laughs> it is. It really is. It helps you keep track of all the stuff going on in your broadcast. Um, at least on. I don't know what it looks like for Busker yet because I got to pay for the paid version. So. Um, and it's like a hundred and nine dollars for the year or something like that. So they actually save actually save money if you buy the year's worth of subscription. So I don't know, I don't know what that looks like. I want to see um, how that works. So um, let's see if we can swing that money every month. I don't know uh, what that looks like, but um, who knows? Ryan, thank you for joining. Um, Thank you for joining, and um, I appreciate all you guys <clears throat> joining me here. Why do you get those fancy graphics on your broadcast? All right, so here's how we do it. I have software called Open Broadcaster, OBS, and um, OBS is, um, is a broadcasting software. And it allows you to be able to uh, to use your computer. So right now I don't use my phones for anything other than um, uh, watching the comments um, in case egg drop this goes down. That's why I usually watch the comments on egg drop. <clears throat> is it an app? Um, egg drop is a um, uh, egg drop's a web page. So you just go to the webpage, eggdrp.com. 
if you go there, you, you can take a look and see that how it, what it looks like and what it is. And um, for the fancy graphics, it's really um, it's software pushing through through uh, through uh, through a special code, right? So on your on your app, there's Periscope producer on Periscope, and what you do is you go into your settings and you go in down into there, and it'll be like settings and it'll say Periscope producer and if you go there it'll have, have you make a key and basically what you do is you take that key you put it in the software and it allows you to be able to stream right from your PC rather than from your phone so uh, it allows you to be able to do really cool stuff you know like um, you know pretty much anything anything you can do on the computer you can you can broadcast up there right so you know we'll do my like my Bible reading right my Bible reading is here and so I have scrolling um, text, right? Uh, and with some really cool pictures. Our devotional, right, is the monitor with some more moving pictures and some stuff like that. Um, what else we got here? You know, the, the mission trips page where I pull a web page, live web page, and stick it on there um, with, the, with the stream. Uh, what else do I do? Oh, the Jesus did a website. Same thing. We pull a web, live web page and we, we put it up on the screen there so you can see it. Um, download that red arrow there. That's the affirmations. That is the I am statements. Take a look at that on the website. You know, we got some other cool stuff here. But yeah, we can do different scenes and different things like that. So uh, it's really cool to be able to do that. Uh, you can do live videos. So if you guys wanted to, let's say wanted to watch this video let's say for instance I can pull a live video in and you can watch that reference to the Trinity then God said let us make man in our image according to our likeness in this passage let us make is emphatic it emphasizes the majestic the majesty of the speaker. Furthermore, the use of a plural for God allows for the later revelation of the Trinity, which can be found in Genesis 11:7 and Matthew 28:19, which I'll cover here in a second. The us cannot refer to the angels that are present with God because man is made in the image of God alone, not also that of the angels. Now let's take a look at Genesis. Chapter 11, verse 7, which states, Come, let us go down and there confuse their language that they may not understand one another's speech. Again, it says, Come, let us go down and there confuse their language that they may not understand one another's speech. The us in this passage is similar to the language in Genesis. Genesis 1 26. The plural pronoun emphasizes the majesty of the speaker. And also, Matthew 28. Verse 19. Go, therefore, and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Again, there we have reference to the Trinity. God in three persons. So you can see it's pretty cool stuff, you know, and and uh, that's uh, that's some cool stuff that we can do, all right? We can uh, spend uh, time going over that. Yeah, mind blown, isn't it though? So what what the intentions are is that um, that. Um, I, I've been praying to God about what to do about this because I have a, um, 
I've had a bunch of churches that have call, called me and asked me to set up a live streaming for them and help them out with it. So uh, I'm not sure how I want to handle that. Yeah, I'm still praying about it. And um, because we, we can do lots of cool stuff with this and we can help out and bring in lots of ministry to uh, to uh, to be able to see um, you know, just some really cool stuff to be able to do stuff. So you have to get off here. Yeah, um, uh, my 1 a.m. is my shutdown time, so that'd be a good business, absolutely. And so that that's what I'm um, that's what I'm praying about is is what how to how to go through that, right? So um, what I want to do is be able to um, help out churches as well without them thinking that they have to spend a billion dollars to be able to do something that they want to do, right? Um, so the more word we get out there, the better it is, right? So I don't know. I'm still praying about all this. Yeah, I'm using Periscope to advertise as well. Yeah, you got to be careful that we don't breach the, um, um, the community standards, right? But um, if you follow um, the guy named Parent, Parent Dome, He's got some pretty interesting thoughts on how, uh, on all of that. Um, all right, guys, we're gonna start up with our shutdown prayer here. We're gonna we're gonna shut everything down. We're gonna start slowing it down, and we're going to uh, pray out. So, I thank you guys for joining uh, me on this journey from Genesis to Revelation, one chapter at a time. I just thank you for uh, spending your time with me. Um, you know, going over the devotional with me. And uh, guys, I just thank you for giving me the honor to be able to pray for you. Um, because that's uh, definitely what I know that God wants me to do is to pray for people. So I'm glad that to, to be able to do that. Uh, we're going to pray for Daniel McCormick. Uh, what is, what's up with Daniel McCormick? And his one-year-old daughter. Daniel McCormick. She's in the hospital. Oh, I think I know the story. You think you asked me last night, right? Lord, Heavenly Father, we uh, we uh, we thank you for this day today, Lord. We thank you for um, for uh, for all the people that have come on the broadcast today that may have heard your word, Lord. Uh, let that word sink in and let them start seeking and searching out for you, Lord. Lord, and if um. If they're not saved, Lord, we just ask that uh, you soften their hearts and you allow them to be able to uh, to really truly see who your son is and, and what what his uh, what importance it is for him to be uh, in their heart, Lord. Um, so we pray for those for uh, for uh, people that are not saved that they that they seek and uh, gain salvation through knowing you, your Lord, uh, you Lord Jesus Christ, uh, Lord. We uh, we. We pray for um, we we pray for all of the people that have come on the broadcast today, Lord. We uh, we ask that the people that uh, ask for prayer requests that we that those prayer requests be um, be uh, be uh, um, that that they be uh, you know honored by you and be able to uh, um, I don't want to use the word grant. I'm trying to figure out the right word for it, Lord. Uh, but uh, Lord, we just ask that you uh, that that you that you take care of whatever the request may be. Lord, if they're honoring to you, let them be done, and let let uh, uh, let let it be uh, let it be there for them. Lord, we just thank you for all this time that we've spent today, Lord. We we pray for Daniel McCormick and his daughter who is in the hospital today, Lord. We uh, we ask for uh, we ask for that little baby girl to be uh, to be healed of whatever 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 is uh, is ailing her, Lord. We we command whatever that whatever that sickness is away. Um, we uh, we cast it away. And we 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 just ask this in Jesus' mighty name, uh, Lord, for a, a a miracle for for a way for you to be able to show uh, show the world that um, that that the evil one won't win, Lord. He will never win against any of this. Uh, Lord, we just ask that uh, you bring healing into their life and bring peace and comfort in knowing um, uh, you and, and your love, Lord. Uh, Lord, we, uh, we thank you again for all of our friends 
uh, that have joined, especially uh, our friend um, uh, Edwin, who's about ready to say, Who am I? Lord, we thank you for everybody who's come on to the broadcast, who are just uh, just a, a pleasure for me to uh, to know, and an honor to be able to know, and an honor to be able to pray for every single one of them. Guys, I do thank you for joining me. I love you. Jesus loves you. Lord, we thank you from the depths of our hearts uh, for everything that you've done. And we just ask this in your mighty son's name. Amen. All right, guys, it's time to go get some sleep. Just know that Jesus loves you. Know that I love you. Know that every single member of the Jesus Did It family loves you. All right, man, I love you too, man, Ryan. Uh, it's nice to be able to uh, to be able to do and walk life along with everybody here. Um, it's uh, it's just a, a great thing to be able to spend time and uh, just be able to read God's word and be able to spread spread the knowledge around. So, guys, uh, thank you for joining me. Uh, if you guys uh, need more prayer requests, send them to my email address. So we'll meet in person one day. Absolutely. Um, uh, you know, uh, send me an email uh, if you need a prayer request or if you just want to ask a question uh, that you don't want to ask on here. That's fine. It's Jason R. Wallace at me.com. Uh, send me an email and we will um, we can get some going back. Uh, let's let's work on getting um, knowing other people, knowing people other than just Periscope. Let's reach out in different different things. Uh, direct message me on Twitter. Uh, reach out to other people. Go to the Jesus Did It website, JesusDidIt.org. And take a look at some of the people that are broadcasting there. Um, check out their broadcast. I'm on Facebook, yep. Um, yep. And uh, just check them out, and you will be uh, you'll be blessed. I'm guarantee you. There's lots of people, and, and that's one thing we want to make you make sure you understand is there's lots of people speaking a lot of words to a lot of people, right? But all you want to do is focus in on the people who their words are all honoring and their focus is entirely on Jesus Christ right those are the ones that you want to follow the ones that want to give you a word the ones that want to uh, say that you've got to give them money to be able to uh, to uh, to be able to give in, be given provision or, or, or things like that right you just want to you want to you know definitely need to um, send me an email guys that's right yep I have, oh no, we need another follower. That's not good. <laughs> we need another follower. But you know what? Those numbers mean nothing, man. My God is more powerful than a number. Yep, 257 viewers. Yep, that's an awesome night. An intellectual soul, thank you for joining. Rick Costa, thank you for joining and being our mentor in Jesus Did a Group. Um, you know, um, just uh, thanks for thanks for being here for us. Um, all right, guys. Truth is, I'm tired, and uh, it's time to get some sleep. Rest well, my friends. We'll see you tomorrow. We'll, we'll read the Bible. We're gonna start Joshua. Joshua, right? Is that what I'm saying? Joshua. We're starting Joshua tomorrow. Good stuff. Good stuff. He is Edwin. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, that's good stuff. All right, guys. Have a very nice night. Uh, we'll see you tomorrow. And just remember, be blessed.